Hello and welcome in Meeting in Mauritius. My name is Anna and I'm proudly showing you these wonderful flowers uh, just blooming in my garden, uh, waking up from the winter season, um, coming into summer, hot summer time. All my orchids are flowering, I know most of them. Uh, Amaryllis is giving uh, flowers. Uh, some plants which I was uh, collecting seeds a um, long time ago, five, six, seven years ago, starting to flower this year. Here you can see a uh, long, long flower where you can do a uh, essence oil from the flower and use as a perfume. Orchids, uh, different colors. This one I was waiting seven years to bloom for the first time is giving flowers this now season. I'm so happy and so cheerful to see them. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome in meeting in Mauritius. Welcome in Mauritius. Welcome in hot, hot, hot summer day in Mauritius. Um, we are now entering the high season warm season and we will be hot <laughs> feeling warm um, until march april it will be yes it will be long time but uh, as you know also in the winter time here uh, it is not that cold just a bit more windy so we can just uh, protect ourselves here from some uh, wind with some pullovers or shawls, uh, we're not really wearing hats uh, and not really boots or really needed thick woolly socks. Um, summer is starting, kids are at school, uh, everything is going okay. I promise you to record a bit early, but I was coated with some some things for school, for social things. I'm teaching now my uh, good friends, my oh, 20 years, 25 years old, uh, uh, not old, 25, we know each other since 25 years. And there is a group of friends, um, the ladies that started to buy yarn too and started to learn how to knit. So I'm very happy because now finally I can talk with someone about my projects here in Mauritius. They were listening to me for this many years now uh, when I was knitting, but I think they grew now to the uh, feelings that they also want to knit and also want to create beautiful things, special, special and um, um, self-made and uh, with the own touch and own choice of yards. And this is what about we will talk today. Um, I will tell you some few ideas which I never saw in a podcast um, or any information like this combined all together. Uh, I mean, it's not all together because such a, a podcast ideas how to decorate your garment. Uh, it will be taking three hours to talk and many samples and many things. Um, I um, will cut this podcast only, this uh, episode only to the bit different ways of decorating your garment your, or your shawl, your, your pullover, uh, because uh, it is less um, common than the normal pompon or, or tassels or uh, yeah some things like this so i would like to start with some weaving so um let's start i will not show you today my finished uh, product uh, pro projects i will not show you my work in progress sis and because i was only knitting on stephen west uh, twist and turns it's finished but it's for the another um episode um, I will just talk to you today and I will just try to um, give you some ideas, give you some 
um, inspirations how to make your garment a bit more, even a bit more special than it is. Because as I always say, you are your own creator. You are your own um, designer. You are your own artist. And you're wearing your uh, artistic, beautiful piece of pro product on your body or on your shoulders with your shawl, shoes, socks and everything. So uh, today it will be about decorating and using another um, medias to make more beautiful, different or special. First, I would like to tell you, I will need to look from in my notes today because some of the names I don't at all know because I, uh, as an uh, example, I picked up some pictures from Pinterest and um, Instagram. So I will, you will be able later to follow these people. I don't know many of them. Some of them I know and I follow. Uh, some of them I just um, um, saw that on Pinterest that the people are doing things like this. Uh, so, and I very often I also used in my garments. So with I would like to um, introduce to you some things. So first will be about uh, weaving uh, some threads of yarn into ready pullover. So. Uh, the wool and pine designs they release now white bay sweater i will show you now the sweater i will show you the name also and in comments below you will also find later most of the uh, links to this information what i'm telling you now so wool and the pine designs they released white bay sweater it is a sweater knitted with one color of yarn most of the time or variegated yarn but the idea in this sweater is that you're taking your um, uh, tapestry needle and another type of yarn or many type of yarns or leftover yarns uh, which you have like small strings and so on and you just weave between the stitches so you choose your um, stitches count let's say you will weave every every two of knit stitches or every four knit stitches so you will create like a yarn on the top of the pullover and on the inside of the pullover. It is a little bit effect as um, slip stitches, but it's completely different uh, technique. It is weaving the yarn in the ready garment, so which you can do not only to the white berry sweater from uh, wool and pine designs, but you can do to any of your uh, garments which you have ready. Maybe you are a little tired and um, you of the color of the of the look you just can make it a bit more different so you can weave across all the body you can weave on on the sleeves or only on some parts of the shawl let's say you can weave in and then on the ends you just weave in the ends of the yarn you hide under your garment uh, i found this very interesting idea very I never tried this before because I uh, was having another techniques of knitting uh, scrappy hats and pullovers, but uh, this is very interesting idea and very, very easy actually. So good luck. Maybe you want to knit this pullover or any another pullover and weave in some uh, scrappy yarns. Uh, another one, another um, very good idea is um, when you use a crochet hook. So on this pullover, for example, you can make some straight lines up, down, different levels, different sizes, different colors of weave in 
with a, a crochet hook. Here you can see a picture and um, Colibri by Johanna is using this, uh, is showing this on her Instagram and now you can see and Ad Deco also is using this uh, sort of technique. It is very easy technique. You just need a thread. Again, you can use it scrubby uh, yarn. I mean, all kind of different kind colors of yarn. And you can make lines um, from bottom up or on your sleeves. And you can end whenever you want. You can make shorter, longer, and then you weave, you weave in on the back of the garment again the ends of the yarn. Uh, I think it's also a beautiful solution to decorate your garments and I think it is um, also a very easy solution, very different and scrap using project. Um, now I need to find another I, I have plenty of ideas today, so it will be quite long, I think, the podcast. I will try to rush it, but I will um, uh, try also to be clear. Uh, and to each idea, I will send, show you a picture and show you the Instagram and, uh, or uh, pin interest uh, name, so you can follow the, these people also or see more of these ideas. Um, another idea of this uh, knitting or embroidering or weaving on the garment, ready garment, is a color work called duplicate stitch. And here you can see how uh, we are knitters uh, are using um, the technique on a bulky, this is on a bulky yarn uh, project and it's a bulky design on top. Duplicate is stitch is, you always making a stitch by your, uh, with your uh, tapestry needle with another yarn on the top of your knit stitch exactly the same way. You can find many tutorials online and you can see how duplicate stitch works. It's not difficult to. Uh, it is more difficult than the weaving technique, but then you uh, don't have this kind of lines, but you can fill into any stitch and you can make beautiful, let's say flowers, designs or Mm, any other designs, anything actually. You can have a um, chart from any color work sweater and you can just follow stitch by stitch where to put the new uh, duplicate stitch on top of your pullover and you can have a beautiful, beautiful color work sweater. So um, there is number four. This is very interesting. I never tried, I would like to mention today, uh, I never tried because I have a problem with very small needles. <laughs> My fingers doesn't work with very small needles. Maybe that's why I don't also like to knit socks because socks are on very small size needles. But uh, the so sewing needles, I am having a little sort of problem holding the needle. And the next um, idea of mine is uh, you can use it in any type of uh, garments of knitted uh, products. Uh, it is um, mending, visible mending or darning, you call. So you don't need to have a, let's say on this pullover, you don't need to have a hole to create the visible mending situation. Now you will see some pictures and in the meantime, I will talk about these ideas. Uh, visible mending or darning, loom darning, you can use it um, uh, with a thread or with uh, tapestry needles. 
and you can use different colors at the same time. I mean, you can make this uh, horizontal line and the vertical lines in different colors to give a sort of spot of, of color, like a brush, for example. Or you can, as you can see on one of these pictures here, um, some uh, elbow patching or um, just, you know, you can add this um, men, uh, mending, visible mending or darning um, for your own way to express yourself, to add, let's say, to one color pullover, some, some colors with this darning. And um, visible creative mending on Instagram is doing a uh, actually a lot of this kind of um, mending or um, loom darning and I think it's very beautiful what this person is doing. All the craft of clothes, it, I found it on um, Insta and Pinterest. Um, you can do, you don't need to also do it on ready garment. You can uh, create a ready a garment just for this purpose of using these techniques uh, like for example you can make cushions or you can um, you can make a very funny a hat with this uh, many of uh, loom darning it's uh, I can imagine it would be beautiful I never did it because it's too fine for me and I I got it uh, loom darning uh, tool from um, shop um, Tripians uh, in London, Millie uh, is the owner. I bought it, I think, already a year ago. It looks like this, it's a piece, it, you have different sizes, you have smaller and bigger size of the wood, and you have this tanning tool, and you putting your fabric on it, you closing with the elastic, which broke, I'm sorry, because with this climate here in Mauritius, everything is breaking, so which, which is elastic and plastic, so very break, uh, quickly breaking here. So I will use another um, uh, elastic later when one day I will use it. So you have this um, dunning uh, small loom and you can do beautiful designs on your elbow, on your on your top of pullover. You can make a, like a sort of brush or or just make like it was broken, but it was not broken and it's looking now new, fresh and very uh, different, sophisticated. So um, uh, some of this um, uh, loom darning, visible darning, called Scotch Darning. I will put the name also here. So um, you can follow some people just for ideas. Maybe one day you want to come back and just see what they do. Now we are in number five, felting. Felting you can use uh, in two different ways. You can uh, knit, um, let's say, slippers. And and with a wool and you can put in a washing machine and hot washing machine and it will felt into a wearable slippers and very um, strong in a wear, thick, strong, warm. As you can see on this picture here and um, this is from visible mending also and this is the needle felting uh, you can wash and then felt or you can needle felt something too so you have small needles a small tool with these needles and you have your um, wool or you have your um, fleece and you can felt a small small and colorful um, motifs 
like on this picture now you can see and you can attach the motifs into your pullover or shawl so you need a pullover again you want to make it a bit, bit more beautiful you have your felt, felted uh, piece of uh, art motifs like flower bird you felt something there is many tutorials how to felt with needle felting uh, on internet and um, i follow some of them and i did already few feltings with my kids and for myself it's also great and this idea i love very much because you can make the small motif or many motifs and you can just decorate your uh, yoke of the pullover or add to a uh, to a hat, uh, amazing, amazing decoration, I think. It's also very easy to needle felt colorful things uh, because you just have to be slow uh, with some, let's say, placing for the first time, like when you're making an eyes, you just take a small piece of Please, and you need needle felt for the first times, few times slow, and then you can fix it properly. Will nothing go off? The colors will stay on each other. So, and the design it will stay, and it will just be amazing. Um, add to your to your knitted garment. And these motifs or this idea um, by adding this felted uh, pieces on a garment, you can see on felt magnet on pin interest. Uh, you can maybe search more, but this is already enough uh, idea to do it something on your own. And number six, it's very easy, but I didn't found this uh, so much common when you need a slipper you can add on the bottom bottom the leather sole and um, i know there is leather soles and a sort of elastic plastic something like this so it's also to be bought to you can buy online but i didn't find many websites i know it's in Germany, only I found one and one from America. So I don't know, but where you can find closest to your to your uh, place where you live. But definitely, it's a super wise decision to add sole on your slippers. Uh, for the first thing, you will not sleep and not um, hurt yourself. For the another thing, when you wear your slippers. At home, you can easily damage them by walking on the ground, and in this way, they will stay for longer, uh, looking nicely. Another one, the number seven, is bigger. Is definitely bigger in look, bigger in um, effect. Um, many people now, and it's very popular right now to do ruffles, ruffles on a yoke, yeah, ruffles on the on sleeves, ruffles on the bottom of pullovers, on shawls, so uh, ruffle. But I don't want to talk about ruffle. I want to tell you something else, how we can um, make our garment a bit more. Wow, I mean, this will be really wow, because I, I know, I saw, Lupi Mango is having the, what's the name? Sorry. Like a bird, like a bird, uh, very shaggy sweater. And uh, Lupi Mango made this um, sweater a while ago. It's a, a cardigan and on many, you can choose how many, but on many of the neat stitches, they're adding a string of yarn. So it's not sort of fringe, but it's strings of yarn 
on whole garment. It is looking just really like a feathers of the bird. It is looking like a wings of the bird when you open your arms. Now, please, you can have a look on the picture, original picture from Lupi Mango and knitted by uh, the same yarn. So two pictures. So this is very different idea of using yarns. Um, another idea of, okay, but this one is using a lot, a lot of yarn. I know it's um, many, 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 much more meters of yarn and it is more heavy, but it is, um, when you want to have a piece like shawl from Stephen West, uh, Stephen uh, is having very uh, artistic and full of painting, I would say, looking like shawls. And this is an effect, you know, wow effect, when you're wearing a Stephen West shawl. This, uh, like a bird pullover, or any cardigan which, or pullover which you can knit, a basic one, and you just add many of these little strings, fringes, on your garment, it will, this garment will look out of the world. It will look so, so effective and you can wear it on some beautiful night dress for a cocktail, for a ball even. I mean, it is a piece of art and I will definitely be, be doing soon. Um, Coming back to my, I think I said this already, all of, my husband is always asking me um, why I'm not knitting a traditional, let's say, v-neck, uh, pullover, sweater, with, uh, or reglan, with one color, just plain. And I'm saying, you know what, I, maybe I'm repeating myself here. Maybe you heard this from me before. Um, I'm saying that I can buy machine made or in the shops something like very traditional, very conservative. But uh, for the moment, I'm still a little um, eccentric, you can say. And I love to have something really colorful, shiny, different, uh, and uh, yeah, different from everybody, because, you know, as people don't need here, so I'm different than everybody, you know, I have my own things. Um, coming back to these ideas, uh, what, how you can make your garment more different, more beautiful, more your style. Um, and talking about ruffles. Ruffle is beautiful, but Phil Colana is a, having a pattern, now I don't know the pattern name, but I will show you the picture here. And Phil Colana is having this pattern, I think it's a free of charge, and I love this very much. Already the pattern, but the idea of the loop stitches, loop stitches. So they're using here on the sleeves uh, the loop stitches, so it's really creating a amazing puffy sleeve, puffy shoulder, but you can use this kind of technique in any another type of, uh, you can make a loop knit hat, for example, very, very, very fancy. Um, so this technique uh, and this many of this uh, loop stitches on the shoulder of this pullover, um, I must say it talks to me a bit more than the uh, raffle. The raffle I did also, even my own pattern and even, you know, in a, when I uh, extended the ranunculus and I did a dress, I also was using the raffle on the top, uh, on, the, on the bottom of the dress. It's beautiful, but this loop 
stitch it's something extra in my opinion so this is also a beautiful way to make even a um two or three rows on the york round circular uh, pullover and you can put here on a york a loop stitch two or three rows or four rows and you will have beautiful effect of of especially when you will use a fluffy yarn like a bit like alpaca or, or mohair mohair is a bit more i think it's even better for this kind of knitting and you will have instead of ruffle you will have the loop stitch as a decoration on the pullover i think it's amazing idea i believe you can also do it with uh, tapestry needles later on instead of let's say weaving in like this you just make a loop and weave in and make a loop i think it's also possible so i'm very excited for the future because i'm keeping the knots and i will always look back to my to this podcast because it's uh, many techniques i didn't try out but i want to try it um so that is one more uh this i think a few more but um one one more very interesting it is a, a illusion knitting um, the gun manufacture uh, company uh, on internet you can find on Instagram on Facebook is a German company and they have many 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 patents for mainly for shawls um, with illusion knitting it's I started one project with a city of Stuttgart when my husband was born and I still work on it. I mean, work, not really. It's a, a very languishing part, um, um, uh, project because I, I'm always busy with something colorful. And there I chose like dark uh, colors and um, I'm still taking time to do it. And I think maybe I will rip it off and I will change the yarn. Um, so illusion knitting, you could see on the picture here, when you look in from front on this piece of shawl, let's say, you don't see any difference. You just see the colors of the yarn. But when you see it from the side, you can see the design or the picture you have been knitting in. And this is very easy to create, but you need a pattern because I need to have a pattern to follow Stuttgart, the, um, city uh, the city picture um, you creating this with need and per stitches only so you don't need any another kind of stitches you using per and need stitches but in a different uh, um, counts of them and then you're creating this beautiful beautiful effect of um, uh, illusion knitting. Uh, I, I'm fascinated about this. I know it is somebody once on Instagram I saw created a huge, huge, huge pen, painting um, blanket to hang on the wall and it was with a somebody's face. I don't remember where it was, when it was. Uh, but it is also, you know, they hang it on a wall. So when you look in from front, you don't see anything, any picture. And when you look from the side, you see an amazing piece of art. So illusion knitting, it's one more. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I need this paper. I don't need this one. Um, then it's something we're coming to more, no, to less... Um, fancy things, but still very nice things. We can add also paillets, stones, buttons, uh, strings, and tassels and pompons, of course. But coming back to pompons, this is which normally we do on the hat or somewhere, or tassels, you, we adding to the shawls, but I would like to show you a few pictures 
And in my basket here, I have this sort of pompons. There are some acrylic ones I, I bought, I got here. The Indian people using a lot of this sort of pompons for some, this, the put together and for some decoration for some occasions. And I have this in uh, different colors, but they are not that nice and round. But uh, I ordered on German uh, website also uh, wool ones and they are so sweet and they are so beautiful. Um, I will show you this three colors. So I ordered uh, this and they are very nice round made out of wool. They are from um, Bola Rüde as far I remember. And I look at this one. So you can have them in different sizes and you can have them in different colors. And this is another idea. Instead of doing bubbles, knitting bubbles with your knitting uh, needles or with your hook, because some people do bubbles on a, on a garment with a hook, you can add actually pompons like this, different sizes, smaller, bigger. There is also one pattern on the test now, and I didn't save the pattern on my um, on my telephone. Um, and this is on testing now. It the lady is knitting in uh, mohair, and then on this pullover or on the cardigan. I think there will be two versions. She is adding a dot of different color of bubble so let's say white cardigan and many different small dots of uh, bubble i think it's also made out of mohair the test look fantastic but as you we see now the pictures i will just show you you can use this sort of pompons which i'm just showing you to decorate your own, instead of doing bubbles, you can do decorate the garment with this kind of pompons. You can put it on a hat for children, let's say many of them, it will be fun. You can put it um, on the Christmas pullover, as you can see now. You can make a Christmas tree and you can put some strings and you have a Christmas tree on your pullover without knitting. You're just adding the, the pompons. So this is a one thing I would like to do it for Christmas one day with some decoration, maybe the Christmas tree even. But here in Mauritius, we are in high summer in Christmas. Uh, nobody is wearing a Christmas uh, knitwear. That's why I will not do it in a short future, but later. Uh, these pictures you see, you saw, they are from Bella Jade and Damask Love. It's from Pinterest. Now I would like to sort of wrap it slowly, but with my ideas showing you what I was doing over the years and what I have ideas for future. Coming back shortly for the crocheting, I would just add, because I forget in the beginning, I told you about the crocheting hook makes straight lines, but you can also crochet uh, um, flowers and, and some, some other things and add to your hat, to your cowl, to your pullover. As you can see here, one Polish lady is doing this kind of work. It's just so amazing. And I must say, I ordered a hat like this because I want to have it. It's just beautiful. I'm, I'm not crocheting and I see this lady is doing beautiful things so I can support. And this is also a beautiful book about crocheting. Okay, also knitting, but crocheting. Um, flowers, different flowers in made out of wool and you can decorate your own garment or hat like the lady is doing. So
So now coming to this, what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing my own designed, very basic, but on count of stitches and so on, um, pullover. I did it, it, I don't know, three years ago. Uh, and I must say I'm very pleased with it. This opening here is quite big, but it's good for me. I can wear it a shawl. I was thinking maybe to close it a bit more because then my bra will not show. But I love the idea. Uh, so I was knitting in the round. I was uh, leaving, splitting here for front and back for the body. Then I saw it here terribly, but it's beautiful for me. And I did add the sleeves. This is a yarn from exactly from this um, uh, company, which is doing the illusion uh, knitting. And they're selling all kind of cakes. And this is a yarn, the Coco. Coco, Coco, and there is no more this description. Okay, so this is an 100 gram colorway 738, this one. But this one was another colorway. I don't have the band anymore. And I used four of these cakes to make this pullover. So this is 100 gram and how many meters? Um, 192 meters in one cake. So I used, um, and it's uh, three strings together. Um, as you can see, gradually it's changing the color um, in these cakes. And I'm very, very happy. I bought this color to make a pullover same like this for my sister. I, bought, I got um, four cakes for this pullover. And I was using actually maximum of the yarn. The sleeves are quite long, I don't mind. I put, I mean, I started from the bottom and I came to the green color. And here I took another ball of yarn, starting from this green blue color going up. Then I added here the yellow, went up close and then from the, this color was coming here and coming here, a bit of yarn uh, management for this, but it is great and easy work. So you can use cake yarns to make something very, very impressive because this, when I'm wearing, everybody's looking at me and everybody's saying I have a beautiful piece of art. Another company which is also making uh, cakes uh, and you can order your cake size up to, I think, 600 meters, is the uh, Knit Circus. I didn't knit up to now with this yarn, but I'm planning to do something similar like this, that I can fade the color, the fade already, but I, I have more col cakes and I can do something like, like this, maybe with short sleeves. I see, but you can always when you're starting from outside, you're finishing in the middle, then the next cake you can take from the middle and then you can just fade again from front to. It's one idea of using your yarns. I, with this um, garn manufacturer, I also did it a hat. Uh, sorry. And I, it is a bit too small for my kids, but I will give to someone. I put all the yarn, um, the cake was smaller, much smaller, so I uh, needed the hat and <laughs> the huge pom-pom just to finish the yarn and tassels. So this is um, the ideas for fading yarns. You can make, another idea is, you can buy on, I mean, I bought this from Etsy and this is handspun yarns. I showed you a long time ago some of the yarns, uh, very thick in size, I would say bulky. And I needed once a um, cardigan from Lupi Mango and with the Merino number no. 5 
and in the sleeves I added this um, hand span yarn. It is looking amazing. Then I add the cuff. Otherwise, I was having uh, two less yarn. The sleeves will be shorter. And this is quite crop for me, but it's fine. And it's but because of the sleeves uh, needed with the hand span yarn, it is quite heavy. The sleeves holding well to my body, but I think in a, when I will be in winter time in Europe, I will use a clip to hold the, the, the cardigan more to my chest to make me warm. But it is also a great uh, effect when you're adding this yarns and I added on two sleeves, two different um, uh, whole balls, whole skeins of this hand span yarn. So here is one and here is one, two different ones. I have, I think three more left. So this is idea to use hand span yarns as a little um, pop on your garment. Another idea is I'm showing you, I have here everything since many weeks waiting for your sari. Another way, and this I must say, it's not coming from me, but I saw it on um, Tripians, Millie uh, from Tripians uh, shop in London. Uh, she was knitting this pullover and she was selling a kids also. This pullover, Olenk pullover. Um, in I don't know what she was using as the main color. I needed in a um, galerians in alpaca, hundred percent alpaca, and as an effect, she was adding here. She was using also from galerians uh, the uh, angora yarn. The angora I don't have here. It's a amazing, amazing yarn. It's hundred percent angora. It's sold in a small twenty five grams balls. But I have also the angora from Annie Blatt. I I was very lucky to get two cons, this one and the and this one. And um, they don't have any more on the website. And I wrote to them when they will have it another colors or another cons. They say they don't know when. So this is a hundred percent angora. And it's the fluff is amazing, so you can change the look of your garment by adding different uh, weights of yarn and different um, colors of the yarn, different uh, shape of the yarn. I mean, fluff and and plight. Um, then you can use yarns like this, which is from Adelis Moher. This is a, um, how she called this, magic ball. This is a magic ball. I have only in this color now left. I wanted to make one pullover for my friend one day. But this yarns, this cakes contain some strings in and some uh, knots. So it is giving you an amazing effect of, of busy yarn, busy yarn, as you can see here, busy yarn with no much effort because you're buying this yarn in different colors and you just stripe or just knit with this. And you not putting much effort, but you're having an amazing piece of uh, garment. Oh, so you can use, this is my acquisition also, I wanted to show you, um, but it's good for this for this uh, moment now to show you. I My friend was traveling to Dubai, thank you Nazneen, to bring me some yarn. And this is Al Premier, and Al Premier, and this is Feza, Feza yarn, and this is from Turkey. And I, she went to Dubai and um, I, uh, checked some website and she bought me for, for me the yarn. Look at this. This is just fantastic. There are strings, there is um, 
some, um, how you call it? Mm. Stellina, and there is some, um, I, I always forget the name. What's the name? Oh, it doesn't matter. So many things and many colors together. I took this one because I have a, maybe you already know my Chinese friend, and I was thinking it will be looking for on her skin very good when I will need a shawl for her very light shawl and this will be for me as you know i love yellow <laughs> so in this is um 32 percent nylon 26 percent acrylic 18 percent viscose 10 14 percent wool 6 percent cotton and 4 percent lurex and this is all um i got four per, per color and this is also something you don't need to put much effort uh, and you have completely different effect of a garment than just needing a traditional. Of course, when you like, you need traditional, but just to give you a bit more different ideas. So uh, talking about strings, you can also use something like this. I have uh, made a skirt once out of this and I will do it one more because it's holding quite nice. I mean, okay, it's a sort of t-shirt yarn, so it's pulling, but you know, for a skirt, it's very flattering. And this is from Lang, Lang, um, Lang Farbes, I can't read. Uh, and I will show you the name here, A-O-E-O-W-Y-N. So this is a different color. This color is, uh, hmm. I will not tell you because I don't have glasses. So this color is like like a turquoise, tur turquoise blue. I will do it as skirt for me one day with this. Very summery, very flattering, very, even when, you know, the another one is pulling a bit on one side and this side a bit more down and it's just still uh, flattering. You can use not, you don't need to use only wool or only fancy stuff. Sometimes cheaper yarn. Oh no, this was not cheap at all. Huh? This was great, but um, this is um, less expensive. You can have it some amazing garment done with it. You can also use, um, sorry, you can also use all kind of. Um, Strings like this, holding together with a yarn, with a, a your yarn to give a bit of different effect. So I think I will hold it together with one of these um, shawls to give even more fun. Then you can use this kind of strings. It's I know um, Annie Blood is selling this. It's from Annie Blood. It's not silk, it's uh, satin. And um, I saw two, three shops online also selling something similar now. So this is very nice drapey um, string. And this string I was using in this shawl. This shawl is made out of this very old very old i don't know acrylic what is this yarn no idea it was stashed in, by my friend and um i was holding not in the uh, fringe here but in the body of the shawl i was holding the blue light blue uh, satin with this yarn just to give more um weight because this 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 yarn was very very thin and very fine. It would be very. Uh, I could even break it. I think when I will be wearing. But now I know it's holding on the uh, satin. It's a very good idea to hold the satin with some um, fluffy but thinner yarns also. Um, this is also another way. Another things you can add to your uh, garment or to your shawl uh, to give more, uh, like in the shawl or in the big poncho which I have, um, some fun. 
Ito is doing some fun strings also, but they are very fine. So you don't, when you're using a fluffy, let's say mohair, you don't really see this. But you know, it's amazing when the uh, sun is shining or light is lighting in uh, on the terrace. It's amazing how this shines beautiful. You have also by, I have this one for Annie Blood. Um, this is uh, already vintage some strings like this with some gold inside uh, this you can buy i think in any shop now gold silver strings and you can just hold together with your yarn to give um, extra effect you can use we have been talking about uh, many many things but also you can use a uh, pirates pirates like i did it here so this was a rectangular uh, piece of uh, fabric. I saw it in one moment and it is a poncho. I think you saw it already before. It is a poncho. Okay, now on this pullover it doesn't look so good. But in the, in the um, seam, I put it some paillettes here, some balls on the bottom i put a huge stone just hanging and it's just different and a bit more upgraded look um, of the garment you can use also very often you can buy a vintage vintage yarns and you can get a bit of effects because new yarns they don't have this i never see anything um yarns like this for example some of the old yarns are a bit more different and a bit more special and you can need um, amazing items one off because they will not repeat um, anymore because the yarn doesn't exist anymore this uh, i have a friend um, this is also idea i have a friend who is producing uh, leather jackets here um, and I got a piece of piece of leather from him and I just very hardly but I saw it on the top. So this is also um, amazing yarn, vintage yarn. You can combine new with old. Uh, coming back to paillettes, also you remember my uh, vest. I did it a line of two paillettes or paillettes. Um, paillettes... Um, you can have bigger, smaller, you can see a picture here now, so you can uh, do your own style. It's it's different effect also and very personal. Um, now I uh, have two more ideas and I think I will finish for today because it's very, very long podcast. Um, you can buy and buy... Um, Yan Good Dan, Dan, Yan, Dan, Good Yan. <laughs> I will put the name exactly here. Uh, silk, refi refining, uh, refined thing, silk, sorry, strings. And you can buy a banana a yarn. So this is made out of banana trees. And this is made out of uh, silk, uh, old saris in India. I did it, uh, this banana yarn, I added, I added once to my uh, brother's in law hat. It was looking amazing. I don't know if this was really warming his head. I mean, it was only a part. It was only a bit off to give an effect, but it is very um, planty yarn. So it is harder. And it's not stretchy at all, not giving uh, the material too much stretch. But I love it very much. I needed also a handbag for my friend with uh, this combination. She was very happy. I will include the picture now here also. You don't need to knit only with wool or only with acrylic. You can mix and match all your ideas all your yarns all your 
you know, I mean, I, I would say sometimes scrappy garment is even more effectful than just a um, very straight and very neat uh, garment. Um, that's my ideas. That's my um, feeling. There is also something you can um, do to make um, very easy something different, like with this pullover. You can buy, this is the last thing I will tell you, you can buy from line brands uh, cakes like this. I don't see now because it's getting dark. I don't see now how many meters it is here, but it is, I needed to show us out of this. Uh, so this is a cake or ball of yarn. Making you can make one whole shawl with this yarn, and it's just amazing. But you can add different colors, you can add different string, you can add something, or you can fill it later as small ornaments and add it to the shawl just to give a bit more effect. Um, be creative, enjoy your knitting, enjoy your um, life and enjoy the moments where you have just something in your eyes. You think, ah, now I can needle thread something and I can use as a brush on my garment. Um, enjoy. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, we're learning from mistakes. Of course, sometimes we can um, sort of be unhappy with our garment when we need something on and we we cannot remove it properly but everything everything the felted ornament or the uh, weft in uh, strings everything you can remove easily so try on uh, be creative enjoy life smile and i'm sending you records from my wishes I think I didn't say, my name is Anna. Smile, enjoy life when you can, because I'm not only always smiling, sometimes I'm not really that happy to smile, but I'm trying. Smile, see you soon with my uh, Twist and Turns project.